Hi guys, this is me without any makeup at my house. And with me is um, Clyde, of course, because he's always right there. Aren't you Clyde, buddy? Yes, you are. Okay, what I want to talk to you guys today, down Clyde, I want to talk to you guys today is about lighting, lighting with your photographs. <laughs> Clyde, will you stop? Right now I have a very nice light coming in from a side window and the side of my face. A great way to have light is to have a little bit of a halo of light behind you or have natural light from the side. What you really don't want to do when you're talking to people online is you really don't want to have light behind you so that it creates something really artificial. So just keep in mind when we're having our little <laughs> to make sure that you don't have light directly behind you. But kind of it creates an area of lightness across the back of your subject, so it separates me from my background. So if you have a light at the top of your ceiling, you can even try something like this called a halo light. And if you notice, I'm still kind of using the light from the window coming in from this way <laughs> as well. You can see it does not work to have your subject backlit. Okay, so if I come around to this side, don't you lick me. If you come around to this side, the light coming in from this way is helpful. So keep in mind, when you have photographing of, of people, even pets, try to get them near some natural light. Okay, Clyde? 